<clears throat> Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing? And so I'm back today with um, going ahead and playing with a newer palette that I just got. And I guess we'll go ahead and get started. I did start with the Glow Oil by Supergoop with the SPF 50 in there. And then I did go ahead and use the Revolution Skin Silk. Mine's in F2, so I have a cool shade in that. That's what I went ahead and did there. Um, as far as the lips, what I have on right now is I did pick up the Lip Library from Ulta during the holidays. This one, the Lip Stains, and yeah, it's... Um, it's really cute, and I've been wanting to get some lip stains and uh, then have some different colors because ones that I had were more along the red pink kind of, which I guess is probably more of a traditional stain kind of thing. But uh, let's go ahead and put some of the e.l.f. This is the lip oil in my jam. And that's one of the things I like about stains is once you get older, a stain isn't going to move all over and become, you know, like a clown lip. And also with a stain, since it sits down, um, you can go ahead and use uh, lip oils and lip glosses over it during the day and still have a uh, stain on during the day so you're not having to reapply all the time and you can use these over it so again real big fan of lip stains in general here i did go ahead and use the cookie bronzer this one is the one in sunlit peach and with this one it's supposed to look orange so yes i do look a little orange so um yeah that's what I have on there. Used the LYS blush. This one is in Unfor Unforgettable. So I had that on as well. And then I did go ahead and put a powder over the top. So I put some of the ColourPop Let's Dance over the top of it. And I did go ahead and use a highlighter as well. This is the Hard Candy highlight or Highlighter in uh, tree foils and hard candy did a collaborations with the Girl Scouts of America. They're doing makeup this year. This is one of their highlighters. You can get this over at Walmart. And so that's what I went ahead and did for all the cheeks and everything. And um, as far as what I did for finishing powder, I used the Physician's Formula. This one is one in the Let's see, Better Glow Translucent. So it's a really pretty baked powder. And as far as what I did for the actual eye look, I got the Kiss and this by Glam Light. It's their, right now it's their newest uh, release and it comes in a collectible box. So this is what the palette looks like in the box. And they do go ahead and do the holographic packaging so it looks different in different lighting so it's really cool packaging and as with so many of the glam light palettes that are coming out or have come out in the last year this one leans a little bit darker so um, I love using glam light shadows as a base for um, if I'm finding something that's really amazing as far as a shimmer using the glam light shadows as a base to go ahead and put a really shimmery um, glam shadow on is one way that I really like to work with the glam light shadows uh, today I just went ahead and used green row so I went ahead and used this on the crease, this right above the crease, this on the inner corner, this on the outer corner, and I actually didn't use this one at all. But that's what I have on as far as the base. And then I used the Emride eyeliner as far as my eyeliner. I did go ahead and add in a little bit, and like I said, today's a play video. It's not really uh, let's get a look because we're going out kind of video it's sort of playing around because this is a brand new palette to me I haven't I've only done one look with it so far so uh, what I wanted to do was mix the ColourPop fresh greens with it 
uh, just because the Fresh Greens has a silver and a pewter color and so what I did was I went ahead and put this right on the middle of the lid and then I put this green it's a really light green yeah that one uh, this one right here yeah that one and so I put that one from here to here and then from here to here and for me it went ahead and lightened up the look to the point where it's still going to be a darker look for me. Um, it does get washed out. I have a lot of lighting on me right now, so it isn't showing up as dark as it does in natural lighting. But at this level, I feel comfortable with it for a work look. Um, but what I wanted to do was go ahead and, again, this is just a play video. This is a get dressed, you know, to the nines and go out. This is... Uh, playing around with the makeup kind of video and so I have a Z palette here I have these uh, look-sees whoops well one of them when um, and anyway so the look oh, I'm dropping everything okay so the look one and I was thinking this yellow over here in the corner I think it's called shimmy it might be a fun one to put right on the middle of the lid and this one is called Uh, what is this one called? Mod Cart? I guess it, I could swore and it was called Shimmy. But let's go ahead and put some of this right on the very center and see if we can get, oh yeah, that's punchy. Yep. Okay. These are so dark that, um, and they're beautiful. But if you want to really make it pop, yeah, you can do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Uh, so these are from Loxy, L-O-O-X-I. They have a website, and uh, they do a whole bunch of multi-chromes. They call them Auroras. And um, so basically this whole Z palette, including the one that I knocked onto the floor, are all going to be their multi-chromes, and you can order them all individually um, I haven't really seen any palettes or anything um, but it, yeah if you want to punch up a look uh, looksy it's not loxy it's looksy um, it has these auroras the multi chromes put them over a dark base and they will make everything just pop and they're gorgeous uh, with Luxy. These, their Auroras usually run around $4, but they always have a lot of sales. And so you can pick up some of these that are going to be showstoppers. I mean, they're really gorgeous. They will, um, again, they're multi so if you put them over a base of color, they're going to make everything just pop like they just did there. So, um Definitely would go ahead and suggest uh, both the Luxy um, individual shadows and also the Glam Light um, palette. And again, if you want to go ahead and build a really pretty look, uh, this will go ahead and do it for you. And it's um, it will go ahead and build a base to go ahead and put any shimmer on top of. And I think they're just absolutely gorgeous shadows. Um, but again, it's, um, they just, they, they're so pigmented and so creamy that they just blend together so well to give you a base for a really, um, popping look. So, uh, some of my favorite ways to go ahead and use the Glam Light shadows and the Luxie shadows and, um, the lip stains. So, yeah, um, not really a huge video, but, you know, oh. And I have this one too. This one is from Hard Candy. It's called Sunkist. It's a lip gloss with a little bit of glitter in it. So there's that. Hmm, that just even brought it more to life. So I have a, one of the lip stains on, uh, the lip oil, and the lip gloss. Mm-hmm. And that's really pretty. And, um, yeah, the whole, that's another thing to kind of get past is that we've kind of been 
taught, you know, you can only have one or two lip products on. And other than that, you're just, you know, causing yourself a problem. And as you're older, you don't want it to, you know, do the clown face thing. But sure lip oils and sure lip glosses and being able to go ahead and layer them to get the ultra glossy look is just a lot of fun to do too. So um, I hope that with this video that again it's just playing around kind of video that it maybe gave you a couple good ideas and um, got to try out or at least for me I got to try out a couple of things and see if they actually work and um, yeah I think it turned out to be a really fun video and I hope that you have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye!